And we're joined by Karen Wells from Morgan's Mole Patrol. So nice to see you again. Hi, Kent. And this is the item. This will be dispensing sunscreen for people yes. when they get to the beach. Yes. Or when they get, in this case, to the Kelowna Visitor Center. Exactly. You know, it's there just in case somebody even forgets it. Uh, we're not trying to replace, you know, and say to people, you know what, it's going to be here. You don't need to bring your own or anything. We just want to, we almost think that if somebody sees it, it might be a cue for them to say, oh, wow, sunscreen, i got to put mine on. So right? this one will be inside the, the visitor center? Yes, this one will be inside the visitor center, um, uh, mainly for security reasons, you know, just be easier to, like, right downtown. And then um, we have one going into the Kelowna Golf and Country Club. We're not really sure yet if it's going on the first tee or the ninth, you know, because they do provide sunscreen for their members there. But so the ninth tee might be better. They do it in the uh, change rooms and stuff. They have some. And then the third location um, is going to be Gyro Beach. Um, I sh you know, I should say we're working on the location because, I mean, you know, it just takes, there's a few steps to go. But uh, we've been there, we've checked out the uh, position, uh, we've, we have a contact person just connecting today, basically. So, I guess there's some concern about security. One of the reasons you like it inside the visitor center, but at Gyro Beach, you're going to sort of try to attach it to a yes. uh, some sort of uh, post. We have a banding um, system that it can be used, and it'll be secured to the lamp standard there, right by the Big Apple. You know, when you walk walk right into Gyro Beach, so it'll be right front and center for people that are using the beach there, and um, you know, easy, easily accessible. So let's hope it lasts there. I guess this is a pilot project. You'll see how it goes. Yes, this is a pilot project that we're starting with Save Your Skin Foundation. They're uh, another uh, foundation that we've partnered with. Um, Kathy Barnard has been my angel on earth. And um, they're helping us get these out there this year. And what we're planning to do is have a pilot program that we're going to run for the whole province of BC. And how cool is that that Kelowna gets to be first, right? So we're going to uh, go to the cities um, next spring or even, you know, towards the fall, winter, before they do their budgets, of course, and just uh, approach them and say, you know, how about putting one or two out on your beaches in your, your city? your municipality. So it does two things. One, it pro actually provides sunscreen to somebody right when they might need it, but it also sends the message. That's right. It also is a cue. You know, it makes, it's, it's all about bringing awareness. And um, eventually we would like to see, like I've seen them down in um, Ontario and they have like a big sign on them. It's got all kinds of warnings about, you know, it use it every 20 minutes. Um, seek shade as well. You know, you shouldn't rely on sunscreen 100%. And um, we're just trying to provide that, um, just one more thing that might make it easier for somebody not to get a sunburn, right? And you mentioned Save Your Skin Foundation. I was wondering how you were going to pay for sunscreen. I know it's not super cheap, but this organization is going to provide that for you. Yes, they are. They're, they're partnered with us to provide that part of it. Um, and then Morgan's Mole Patrol is going to be in charge of uh, maintaining the machines, filling them. Um, we're actually going to sit by them on certain days and count people, see how many people we get to see what, you know, how much we're going to need, how much sunscreen we're going to need, how long it lasts. And so for people who haven't heard your story before, you lost a grown-up son to skin cancer. Yes. And obviously this has a, been um, you know, a terrible experience for you, but with all of that grief, you've channeled it into this. I have. I've channeled it. This is my boy here, and he's helping people, you know, we're helping people get uh, to be more aware of melanoma, um, to be aware of the dangers of the sun, and to play safe in the sun, because we all need it. We, we do. And I mean, vitamin D is what we live on, really. So, I mean, you only need 10 minutes of vitamin D in the sun to get enough vitamin D for the day. So to think that you have to be out in the sun all day to get vitamin D, it's not really true. So, yeah. you know, we're just trying to raise awareness about things like that, you know, and try to um, just make people think that if they see this machine, even if they have it in their, in their bag, their beach bag, to grab it and put it on. Put it on their kids, you know, and um, lather up. Yeah. yeah. Karen Wells, thanks very much for telling Thank us about it. Thank you again, Kent. And it all starts August 1st? August 1st. Now, barring, we just got a message from our sunscreen dispenser that they are back ordered. They're back ordered till today, and I haven't got back to them today. See, now, Toronto has been doing this for three years, and this year they just put in 50 more sunscreen dispensers on the beaches in Toronto. So <laughs> there's only one place that we're getting it from in North America, 
It's all, all the right. same. So we could see them as early as August 1st. Any Hopefully, delay past that will... We'll that keep you posted, all for right. sure. We have a big event coming up, and the mayor's going to be coming down, and we're going to have a big grand opening or a grand, um, we're calling it a program launch. And, yeah, yeah it's going to be really fun. Thanks again, thank Karen Wells. Thank you. Wells. And thank you thank for you. watching Kelowna Now.